Hello everybody and welcome to our daily check-in. Um, today has definitely been kind of a hard day. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time in meetings and uh, in front of the computer and I know you probably have as well. So I am very happy to be able to come outside and get some fresh air um, and have this conversation with you guys. So today we're gonna do um, some interesting facts. We're also gonna do some name fives. And then I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about myself because I feel like um, I want to use this opportunity to talk to you guys so you can uh, learn a little bit about some of the things that I enjoy and are doing uh, maybe when I'm outside of school. So let's start with our name fives. Okay, our name fives. First, can you name five ingredients that are put in nachos? Mm, it's making me hungry for nachos. Five ingredients put in nachos. The next one is, can you name five kings? Five kings. Or can you name five songs from The Sound of Music? I bet your parents probably can name that. Or can you name five songs about animals? Five songs about animals. I'm not really sure if Old McDonald, car Old McDonald counts uh, because you could throw in like any animal you want. But besides Old McDonald, name five songs about animals. Now, if you get the munchies, which I occasionally do, and this is one of my favorite things to snack on. Can you tell me five flavors of potato chips? Five flavors of potato chips. Okay, here we go. Can you name five foods that you can barbecue? Now, like I said in yesterday's video, I like to watch diners, drive-ins, and dives, and they're always barbecuing something. And just the thought of the grills in the neighborhood being turned on and that smell from the barbecue, mm. I can't wait, can't wait. Now, can you name five lawn games? So L-A-W-N, five lawn games. Because chances are, uh, if you can get out in your backyard, you will be able to play some lawn games. One of my all-time favorite lawn games growing up as a kid was watching, um, not really watching, I should say playing wiffle ball. I would go bang on my buddy's window and tell him to get outside so we could play. Uh, and when we used to play in his backyard, it would be so hard to get a run that we would just count hits as runs. Um, and those are some of my fondest memories is hanging out, um, playing wiffle ball with my buddy, uh, who I met when I was 10, actually on my birthday when I was 10. And we are still best friends to this day, and I'm 46, getting old. All right. Can you name five fads, F-A-D-S? If you don't know what a fad is, it's something that kind of comes into being trendy for really quickly, and then it kind of disappears. So for example, in the 1920s, it was a fad to do uh, the Charleston dance, which you might learn how to do in our upcoming unit. You never know. Now the next one, can you name five inspiring words? And five inspiring words. Speaking of inspiration and upbeatness, uh, each time we have these videos, I always like to bring out the cards that Mrs. Reed has shared. Now, but before we get to that, we're gonna hold off on that because I'm gonna tell you some fun facts first, and then we will get to the inspiration quote of the day. So here we go. Here's some fun facts from uh, this book, Weird But True. The first one is, did you know that an artist covered an entire city bus with yarn. Look at this. An entire city bus with yarn, that is insane. Now the next one, this is new, I didn't know this at all. Did you know that jousting is the official sport of the US state of Maryland? That's kind of crazy. Had to go to medieval times and check that out, I guess. Now, according to this, they said pumpkins almost went extinct. No pumpkin pie, no pumpkin lattes, none of that. Oh, people would freak out. I think pumpkin is like the official food of America. Now, hold on. The next one is the state vegetable of Oklahoma is the watermelon. It's my daughter. She's hovering in the window. Hold on a second. See? She, I don't know if you can see her or not. She's harassing me by tapping on the window. Okay, the next thing, the U.S. state of Kansas, Kansas produces enough wheat every year to make 35 billion loaves of bread. 
Did you know that humans have only explored less than 5% of the ocean? I know if this has happened to you or not, but it's definitely happened to me. Did you know the term, which officially means a song that gets stuck in your head, is referred to as an earworm? Earworm. So keeping that in mind, here's something to get stuck in your head. Here is the positive message of the day. Never let the things you want make you forget the things you have. Unknown author. It's always important to remember the upbeat and positive things that you have because we spend a lot of time thinking about what we don't have as opposed to thinking about what we do. So now you have time you can spend with your family. You have uh, spring-like weather, especially today, where you can go outside. Look at those blue skies. These are things that we should be appreciative of. Now, I'll be the first to admit, being kept up and cooped up in the house has definitely um, been driving me a little crazy. But the fact that I hear somebody's lawnmower right now makes me feel good knowing that spring is here and warm weather is coming. So look on the bright side for that. Now, some fun things that I always like to tell about myself to kind of share um, you know, certain things that I enjoy. Now here, I don't know if you could see. So this is one of my favorite Mickey Mouse characters. Um, I don't know if it's because it's got that Americana thing about it, but the Sorcerer's Apprentice is always something that I have enjoyed. Um, and I, anytime I see his, you know, that particular character on things, I try to get them um, and collect them because I just enjoy them very much. So if there are things that you really enjoy collecting, whether they're rocks or coins or stamps or Pokemon cards, or I don't know what you like to collect, um, you know, you can always share it in our chat room so that way other people can see maybe, you know, that you like to collect the same things they do. Now, one of the things is that this has taught me is to be able to overcome challenges, right? And, um, and stick with things and have willpower. So here, this is a can of Coca-Cola. Now, my friends know that I used to drink a lot of soda, a tremendous amount, but I have not had a can of soda in a couple of months. And my feeling is if I can last being cooped up at home for weeks at a time and not actually have a, um, a soda, I will be super thrilled because um, I feel like that would have finally have broken my habit of having too much caffeine. However, I do love coffee. So as you are approaching the weekend, I would definitely say for today, get outside, enjoy yourself because the weather today is kind of nice for a walk. Remember, keep your six feet distance from people you don't know, but just, you know, have a good time. Get outside, play a little. Um, I'd like to think that this is kind of forcing us to do things we wouldn't normally do. Um, I admit I don't always get time to go for a walk, but since being home, I've gone on a walk and I plan on going on one today. And um, someone had brought to my attention that in your neighborhood, you have been seeing uh, chalk drawings to kind of give people hope and inspiration. So if you happen to do any chalk drawings in your driveway, please share them with me um, because I'd like to share them with the team because I want people to know that things are going to get better and I am hoping to be able to do one with my kids later today. Uh, and if I do one, I will absolutely share it and um, just know that I'm thinking about you guys and uh, hopefully I will have a new um, check-in video tomorrow but just stay positive, people, okay? I have faith in you guys. You can do this, all right? I'm proud of you all. Have a good day. Peace out.